Hi guys, I uh, just wanted to make a quick video here. Um, so I want to present to you today how sound imagination um, can affect your physical sensations. Um, recently I heard so many... Well, everyone, <laughs> really. Uh, just trying to fix the uncomfortable sensations through physical approach. And um, that's really not enough, because I've said many times before, we only can understand the words and translate the words to our best capacity of understanding the words. So if someone says to you, you know, relax your hand or keep your hand more light or whatever, um, you can only understand the word relax as you can. And most of the time, that's not even near to what you, your teacher might really mean. So what is important here is to understand that we can only change our inner sensations through our inner sensations. <laughs> we can copy physical movements from the outside, but... There will be hundreds of inner sensations that we cannot control, even your teacher really cannot trace. And uh, to control your inner sensations, uh, you need to control what you think and what you imagine. So through sound imagination, you can really affect your physical sensations. And through your physical sensations, you will affect the quality of the sound. Uh, and today I'm just going to show you and give you a little example. <laughs> and we're going to try to make one of the elements of the piano well system, uh, which is sound uh, texture. So we're going to make four steps and um, just follow me and you will see the result. So the first one is, uh, let's take a note that any one of you could probably sing. It's going to be in your range of singing. C. So what I would like you to do is to sing that note and just have an intention to sing it down. Now also at the very end, add the movement, let's say to the right. So in a way you're going to make an L shape with your singing. Good. So the next step, we're gonna um, take this uh, note on the pedal, and when you listen to that sound, focus on how pedal makes the sound have a watery, wet texture. That texture, which soon will enable us to actually imagine the note three dimensional, go down in our imagination. Because you know, when we have a dry surface, we cannot go down, so we need water. <laughs> water is a magic. So, um, yeah, let's do that. Lovely. So the next step is now that we have a sense of depth and a sense of watery texture. Now let's combine it all in our imagination. So just imagine the note in this watery texture and then that sound, well, when I say imagine a note, I mean imagine the pitch of a note, which is the height of a sound. Just that. So simply feel, uh, simply imagine the height of a sound, the pitch, in this watery texture of a pedal. And then imagine that with this watery texture, you're also going through the water texture, in a way, well, through the texture of the ocean, with no resistance, it's simply uh, sinking down. Well, I think there is some, I mean, it's not just like falling down, really, it's, it's gradually sinking down, okay? <laughs> so sinking down, and then at the end, like on the, on, the, on the sand, on the bottom of the ocean, again, make the same movement.
To make it easier for you, maybe uh, you can start with imagining this note while holding it on the pedal. And so now, when you have a clear idea in your mind about the sound, now try to the best of your understanding to lose your hand and when you touch the key, gently move your wrist to the right so it would copy the same, well, it would express the same sound movement that you just imagined. Now, uh, important thing, when you will imagine and play, do it in this order. So you start imagining, and then while keep imagining the sound, join in with playing. Let's go. If you do this correctly, you will naturally feel that your hand becomes... You don't even notice your hand anymore, because um, all the tension will be gone. So, in a way, you will feel that your hand has less bones, or no bones at all. It will feel very soft. And obviously, this is just a short example of how sound imagination affects your physical sensations and, um, and through that affect your sound. But um, eventually, there is a whole program, you know, how to do this, how to be able to imagine each note and connect also the notes, imagining them sequentially uh, in any piece, whether it's, you know, Schumann Little Study or a minor concerto. Um, all right. Well, that's about it. See you next time.